as part of grocery store application we have so far seen how to create domain classes that is grocery.cs and category.cs and correspondingly we also created repositories by creating interfaces for each of these grocery as well as category that is i grocery repository and i category repository what else is remaining as part of model we also created mod category repository and mock grocery repositories which are concrete classes for these interfaces which we had created and we implemented these interfaces inside our concrete classes and whatever the method specified inside these interfaces we have implemented in these two classes that is mock category repository and mock grocery repository okay so whatever as part of model whatever was pending is completely done because we created domain classes correspondingly interfaces and corresponding concrete classes that's it so this makes the model ready now what is the next step next step is we we need to register our repositories these two repositories into our services so that we can use wherever necessary right so where we have to specify where we have to add these as part of services inside our startup.cs if you observe over here we have this configure services method which takes i service collection right inside this collection we have to add our own customized services as well along with this service previously we added services dot add controller with views for mvc and similarly whatever the services our own customized services we have to add over here right so let's do that now okay so here we can add services dot add scope and as part of this service what we have to do we have to pass the repositories corresponding repositories for example what is the repository i grocery repository and here for this what is the implementation for this repository for this interface that is mock grocery repository grocery repository okay similarly like grocery repository and mock grocery repository we also need to add services services dot add scope for i category repository and also need to pass mock category repository by this way we are registering our own customized repositories as part of service into this i service collection right into the services we are adding our own repositories into the services as a customized service okay here the error because we have to add namespace for this so if you are using grocery store dot models we can include these repositories inside our startup.cs now what is the next step is we have to understand what is the use of this add scope if you observe over here services dot add scope we are passing i grocery repository and mock grocery repository and similarly for categories so what is the use of this add scope and what are the various types of these which we can use as part of this services here there is add scope there are other two as well like this that is, I just provide over here. That is, services dot. There is one more thing that is called as add singleton. Okay. We have services dot add singleton. We also have services dot add transient. Add transient. Now, what is the difference between these three? We have to understand now. What is the difference between add scope, add singleton, and add transient? So first, if you observe add scope, what is the use of this is per request an instance will be created and that instance remains active throughout the request. So as soon as request goes out of scope, what will happen? That request will be discarded. That is use of this add scope. In case of add singleton, what will happen? It creates a single instance for entire app and the same instance will be reused reuse the same single instance that is use of add singleton and what is add transient in case of add transient 
it is going to give back the new instance every time we ask for it because every time new instance will be created and it will and it will give give us new instance every time we ask for it but in case of add singleton it creates a single instance for the entire application and it and we can reuse the same single instance okay in case of add scope what it is it is intermediate between add singleton and add transient that is per request an instance will be created and instance remains active throughout the request so as soon as the request goes out of scope the request will be discarded that is use of add scope so this is how we are making use of add scope add singleton and add transient okay so for now we are using add scope let's also see in future how we can make use of add transient and add singleton as well but this is recommended so far why because per request an instance will be created and instance remains active throughout the request right as soon as the request goes out of scope what will happen it will be discarded that is what is needed right now for us so we are using add scope to our here so that's it for models we have created as part of models the domain classes interfaces and corresponding concrete classes which implement these interfaces and after all this what we are doing we, re we are registering our repositories into services so that we can use wherever necessary right and we can add our own services into this service collection i service collection which is as part of this configure services method inside startup.cs that's it for this video thank you so much for watching please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos and click on that bell icon so that you will start receiving notifications whenever i am uploading a new video